In this video, I will show you how you can develop business dashboards for Oracle eBusiness Suite release 12.2. I will be using the same technology stack as EBS plus JDeveloper. I will be using SQL queries to create the data sources and then expose them in charts, pivot tables and gauges. So let me first show you an example with the general ledger balances and then we can go back to JDeveloper. I will run it from Oracle EBS, so put on my username, my password. Go to favorites and launch my dashboard. And as you can see, it's retrieving data from four different sources, which means four SQL queries. On the upper left box, I have a pivot table where I'm showing all the accounts that have a balance. And if I click on any of these accounts, I can drill down to the balance of each period, maintaining the totals by account. I can go and click on another account and show the same information for a different account. I can select some rows and export them to Excel and as you can see I have my information in an XLS file. Now let me close this file and let's go to the upper right box where we can see a bar chart representing the balances in 3D bars showing the actuals in blue and the budgets in red and hovering over these bars you can see the different balances for each period. Comparing the data that you see here with the one that we saw in the pivot table you can tell this is coming from a different view now let's go to the lower left box where you can see actuals by period and we are using a gauge to represent actual balances with three different thresholds depending on the amount by period. Hovering over the gauges you can see these three different thresholds with the amounts and you can actually add a text message and then when you click on the gray bar you can see the actual balance and what's the status of each balance depending on the threshold. And on the lower right box we have uh, totals by account which means a table showing all the assets accounts but most important is also showing actuals and budgets. This is actually a good example of the power of using Oracle database with ADF. These two columns are actually SQL queries that are rolling up on a master query that contains the GL accounts. Now let's uh, use the filter option to look for an account that has a balance. Press enter. And then this is the same account actually that we had in our pivot table and is showing both actual and budget balances. So four different ways to represent GL balances in a dashboard. So let's go over to JDeveloper and I'll show you how we did this. In the data controls window we have the different views that we 
created from SQL queries. And then we drag them into the different panel boxes, selecting the components that you see here. And here on the top, you can see the different tabs that have the SQL queries that I used to create the different components. The gauges, balance by period, which is the charts, and the gear lines that I use for creating the PDF table. And in this last tab, I have an application module that shows the relationship between a master query, which is the GL assets account, and the two children that are resolving the balances for these accounts. As you could see in this video, using JDeveloper plus the technology stack that comes with Oracle eBusiness Suite Release 12.2, you can write simple SQL queries to show data from Oracle EBS in the form of dashboards.